and voila. Starting off with a uh, 18 hour journey. Most of which is on the road to London. But yep, we're off to Canada. So, I've got a lot of travel on target. Either catch you in Canada or London. City Centre, I think. See what's going down there. So, 
I've been walking on the city centre now for a good hour and so far like I said the locals are absolutely lovely people but there's one thing that's really annoying in this place and that is crossing the road because here you're not allowed to jaywalk which means you've got to wait for a stupid signal there and on these busy roads, I was sat there for about like two minutes on one, so I thought, forget this, I'm going elsewhere, I'm not waiting here. Is that it? Just wait randomly. Two minutes, I'm going to cross here. I've got a white light, I can go. You know, that thing. But it's like, Jesus Christ, my back. Anyway, grand over, I'll see you later. Tomorrow, when we hit Banff National Park. Oh, morning though, I'll just quit by but that. It's a bit cloudy. It's a morning though, it's a very cold winters and snowy morning. Well, today we're leaving the big city. We're off to uh, Banff National Park. So, a book tour. So, I'm going to be the guide in the uh, downtown region of Calgary. Gotta find the way if it's right down the end of the street. So, I probably won't be talking for much of this. I'll show you the true beauty of the mountains. Although I imagine it's snowy as it snowed last night, quite heavy. So, yep, catch you later.
perfection.
So, that was Banff National Park. I can honestly say, absolutely beautiful. I'm sitting here because we buses in about half an hour. Just but that's cool. No, that was absolutely stunning place. And I'd honestly move, pack my bags right now and move there. Beautiful, the people are nice, and I really recommend that tour. I got it off a, a site called, I dropped, I dropped me drink, which is a, a Canadian fan, because people said try this stuff. And I can honestly tell you, it's better. Canadian Fanta is better than English Fanta. I can, I can assure you right now. But honestly, stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the weather is beautiful. Apart from, I mean, it's not even that cold. It's a good 15, 13 degrees. But, really, but I think the, uh, the tour company, if it's called A Tours, but it's, I got it on Viator. Um, it's an 11 hour tour through Banff National Park. Highly recommend. Definitely do it. It's about it's about 200, 300 quid. So it's not too bad and it's worth every penny. So anyway, tomorrow we're doing it all again, but this time we're off to cowboy country and the Jeep Wrangler. So well, anyway, I'm gonna hop on my bus soon. So I'll leave you later. Adios.
that was Waterton Lakes and the Cowboy Country. And I'll honestly say, I'm very impressed with the beauty of this beautiful country. Oh. I thought someone was trying to come in my room then, like, but mate, it's locked. What the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> wonderful, honestly breathtaking, some of the stuff there. But move on to the final full day in Calgary. All the way out even again. I'm going to try horse riding. Which I've never done, but I thought if I'm gonna start having a go, do it in cowboy country. Because I don't have to wear a stupid helmet. And then after that back to Calgary for the hockey game against LA Kings, which I've been able to secure a ticket to. I don't know what I'm doing Saturday. Saturday? First. first. But yeah, honestly spectacular. You know, even seeing some of the wildlife, even though it's just deers and sheep and your cow. It was still, it was just amazing. You know, you go from prairie land to massive mountains. It's just stunning, I highly recommend. You've just got to do it. You've just got to come here and do it. Well, anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow when I'm either falling off a horse. Oh, that's why I made it the last day, because in case I fall off a horse, because I've already hurt me half, as I did slip on the first day on ice. It kills. Ow. Yeah, so. Yeah. I shall see you tomorrow. <laughs>
that's horse riding out of the way. And you know what? I'm a fan. It's very relaxing, very easy. And, oh, I'd do it again. But the next up now, back to downtown to go watch the uh, hockey game versus LA Kings. Literally a moose country, so I could probably get killed right now, but you know. We just, we do, we do us. See, I booked a cab. Should have been here like 20 minutes ago. Got no sign of it, so I'll catch you later and see what find out what's happening.
full day in Canada. I thought I did it right. Horses and hockey. However, we're beaten by the LA Kings in a overtime shootout. Which, you know, was surprising to say the least. But I thought I'd rep them, you know. It would be nice. We'll, we'll rep the Canadians. But honestly, I'm in love with this place. Absolutely beautiful. Tomorrow it's back to the UK at 8 o'clock at night. So in the day, we'll go into the city and find something to do. Well, anyway, well, it's night and I'll see you later. I'm about to hop on this bus. So, goodbye. <laughs> city and this beautiful country. Unfortunately it's the last day, well, last few hours, as we're flying back tonight to London Flu with WestJet, which I'm told is very new to fly to London. What's that there? I don't know. Anyway, it was just a notification. But as you can see this place is absolutely beautiful and it's quiet, which is perfect. But Burning off some time. Don't really, don't really know what I'm doing. Might go up to a uh, Calgary Tower, get a bird's eye view. Is it's very clear today. You can see the mountains for miles. But it's definitely a shame to be leaving. I'll definitely be coming back to this city in the, uh, well, not this summer, but in a summer time, as it's a. Uh, a whole new place, I'm told. But, you know, all, all good things must come to an end. It's been an absolute amazing trip. The people are just so nice. The place is so nice. But we've got to be at the airport for our five. The flight's at 8.30. But it said uh, on the itinerary, get there for our five. So, I shall gonna walk up the main drive there. Unless the tower's here. No, the tower's not here. Uh, yeah. Probably see you later. I'm gonna give my little overview of this place because there is a few quirky things about it. A few quirks around here. But yeah.
So, still uh, just exploring Calgary itself. And I've stumbled upon uh, Memorial Park. Probably the last place I'm going to do. Get something to eat and then go to the airport. Although it's still pretty early. Um, so I thought i will give me overall summary, a sum, a summary of this beautiful place and your do's and don'ts. Because there's a few things that I've learned while I've been here. But I, su I suppose the main thing is everyone here is extremely friendly. They will speak to you. And they're just amazing. Absolutely everyone here. Has been, they've not seen one bad person. Not. Just, I mean, look at it. There's not even rubbish on the floor anywhere. Everywhere is perfectly clean, spotless. It, it's. You don't get many places like this. But I mean, I suppose the other things are. If you say, for example, if you're traveling on the road, especially in, in the country, things like the Rockies. Now, when you hire a car, you get this option. Things happen with that. The windows, windscreen insurance, take it. Whatever you do, take it. The roads here, they're great, but they've got this road chip on them. And it's very uh, dangerous. One of the locals said that the average person who lives here changes the window once a year because it's uh, a, pr a big problem there, especially in the country. You know, everyone drives these big Ford trucks over there. You know, where it's small. You, you, you very rarely find a small car. So if using the um, the public transport here, it's decent. Very busy, and it's. I suppose it's not the most comfortable thing, but the best best mode of transport I found there is using the uh, C train. It's like the, the metro tram thing you'll have seen through this. It's quick. It's it's um in the city downtown area. It's free. That's the thing. It's free in downtown only though. It's it's just really good to get you where you need to go, especially if you're connecting with a bus like. I found everywhere is within reach within within an hour, and that's by bus and train. So where I've been staying near the airport, I've had to get a bus and connect to the train. It's not even forty minutes. It's, it's really good. The I mean, I suppose stereotypically you would have heard about the wildlife. I've not encountered any. I'll be honest. Like here, you get the expectation of bears, mooses, wolves. Not seen one. The only thing I've seen is a sheep and a few deer. I've not even seen a bird. So it's like, you're pretty much safe, you know, if you, if you go into the country. Even in this park here, which is just, well, it's still downtown area. There's coyotes apparently that live here, but I've not seen them. Let's see. It, it's overall the place gets a 10 out of 10 if you if you choose to travel to Calgary now the local said come back in the summer everything happens in the summer it's like a new city in the winter which is now April still technically winter theirs doesn't start till about June your summer it's perfect but don't get me wrong it's quiet but a lot of things are closed there's not much you can do you just kind of have to chill, but everywhere's quiet, which is a bonus. And the weather's, well, it's standard British weather, really, isn't it? Although it can get cold at night, so the fact, you know, you're looking at minus one, it's snowing, and you wake up in the daylight today, and it's 17 degrees, it's like, what's going on it, you know? What's going on? One thing I do not like here is the jaywalking rules. Because if you're in a rush, well, you can't be. Because you, by law, have to wait at a crosswalk, or, you know, level crossing, or whatever you call it over there. A little crosswalk, and you've got to wait for that white light to come on. It's, at some intersections, which I've stood for about two minutes waiting for it, it didn't even come on, so I thought, well, I'm going, I'm going to have to go around the block to get over. 
So, don't be in a rush here because you'll get, well, you'll get fined for it. So, I think it's $60. But that's another thing. It's really cheap. A lot of things are cheaper. Unless you go to the hockey game. I paid about $6 for a uh, Coke and uh, $11 for a Corona. Which translates about six quid for a Corona. I mean, even though I don't think our football stadiums are that expensive. They're expensive, but not that expensive. But honestly, this place is... I, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm very much debating moving here. Apparently that's what most people do from Britain when they come here. It's just... It literally is the definition of the perfect place. You've got the city, you've got the mountains. Everyone's so nice. It, it's just great. But this is a... Oh, there's a lot of people moving here, apparently. It's the uh, home of oil and gas, especially in Canada. And all the ranches in Alberta, it's... It is really, it's cultural, it's great. But in the summer, it's famous for being a very Western city, you know, cowboys and all that. Because it's during the stampede, which is something I definitely will come and do. That starts in June, and they have all the... Uh, at this stadium just next to where I was, there's another stadium next to it. I've got all the uh, rodeos and stuff, and then the main day of the uh, stampede is rodeos, concerts, it's a whole huge event. And the, to put it this bluntly, the city apparently is littered with cowboys and like literal ones, not you take the piss. Because that's the culture around there, and honestly, I dig it. I've, I've experienced that culture in the winter but you know I, I've had a, a found a, a like for country music it's not actually that bad I like it quite a bit I um, I love the country lifestyle you know horse, horse riding up mountains relaxing the farm life it's just it, it is literal perfection so literally 10 out of 10 come here you will not regret it at all no matter how much it costs, because it's worth every penny. Every little penny. But I'll probably go get a bite to eat now. Or, or a drink, I don't know. I've only had one beer on this trip and it's been a Corona in the stadium. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, that's a the point there. Uh, the drinks here. Uh, mm, I've, see. <coughs> As you know, it's all different over here than England, so even like a Coke tastes different. The Coke, it's, it's good. It's just, there's no flavour, it's just a fizzy, it's hard, it's literally nothing you can compare it to. Where other drinks, like the Powerade here, it, it's just not like, if you know me, I love Powerade, especially over there. I love Powerade, but here, it's just, it does not hit. But pick me, I've had to pick up this. Now, Mountain Dew here is a big thing, you know. It's called Voltage. Don't know what that flavour is, but it, it, it tastes alright, I guess. I don't know what it tastes like, honestly. It just tastes nice. But the best one I've had here, that's actually the one drink that I found is better than the British. Fanta. Canadian Fanta. It's not yellow, it's orange. And it's absolutely beautiful. Canadian Fanta is top, top, top god tier drink. And I've been sat here talking to you for like 10 minutes now, so. Let's get back into the uh, city centre. I'm going to have a bite to eat, might go check out this sports bar that I saw, setting up earlier. And then, I guess we'll go to the airport and head back to dreary old England. Not looking forward to it because I'm working on Sunday. Might be jet lagged. <laughs> but, you know, 
all good things have to come to an end eventually, even though it's only been four days. Not my fault, totally my fault. It should have been five. But airport screwed up. Well, maybe I screwed up. It was a mix of both. So, but yeah, I guess. Thank you for watching and I